Hello world, uh, this is subscribers request number 39 if I'm, mis if I'm not mistaken and a few days ago I got request uh, let me find it really quickly I got request from this guy Osmin Campos and he wants to learn how to rotate objects with empty uh, within a blender if I'm not mistaken if I got his uh, request correctly and he just beginner he just starting learning blender so all my tutorials usually and all my videos uh, I'm kind of making for slightly more advanced users of blender if you just uh, starting learning blender probably well I'll try to keep it as simple as possible and uh, well let's start okay if simplify things really really if, if we try to make things very very simple for example everyone will start with this cube and uh, uh, if you want to rotate it you just click here and rotate it but uh, the guy he wants to learn to be able to open it and uh, when we try to open some side of it or maybe top of the box uh, we cannot do it because it's a one whole object in order to uh, make a door or uh, like a, some kind of opening on the top we need we need to separate uh, this mesh into different uh, meshes and let's move it uh, in outliner it's cube 45 and press tab on the keyboard now we can edit it by points by uh, edges and by polygons yeah select uh, the side polygon and press P uh, and choose selection and now we have a cube as one object and this side mesh is another object it's not very visible and this is basically what we created we created two objects mm. and uh, well you uh, is like some people will just move and rotate objects uh, without using empty and empty just uh, by pivot by the center of the geometry and in order to move pivot you have to at least in blender uh, you have to use that uh, 3d cursor this uh, thing it's here right here if you can see movement movements of my mouse it's here and in order to put it into a hinge position I usually select this edge or this two points maybe this point and uh, by pressing shift s we open this little tab and moving uh, cursor to select it this one now we move this 3d cursor right here and now we can move the origin the pivot the origin of the file to uh, 
where, where we put it, uh, our 3D cursor. And to do that we go to Object, Set a Region, Origin to 3D Cursor. And now we kind of open it like a door, like a little door. Okay, and if we have a timeline, we can actually animate it with a keys. For example, just a second. Um, so yeah, it is the axis. Moved to the 50s frame. Uh, right click, insert single keyframe. Move it a little bit on the hundreds frame and uh, open uh, and another right click, insert single frame. And now we have saved animation without using an empty. But personally, I prefer use empties because uh, personally, I I I prefer to use empties because you know, for example, if I wanted to change slightly the position of the hinge, like uh, if I do it right now. Oh no, it's working because yeah, the, the location positions not not animated. Well, it, it could work this way too, but my personal preference is to use empty because uh, empty is good if you have uh, like a different situation. For example, this. Uh, let me return this animation. If this door has a, um, a different, like a geometry object, like a handle or something. For example, we have a little handle right here, and it's a separated uh, mesh. It's different from mesh we animated. And if we want to animate it, it goes like this but uh, yeah of course you can parent this uh, handle to this door by uh, selecting this object and mm, press and keep it pressed the shift click another and control P I use uh, usually objects keep transform parenting now I parented it and now it's moving with the handle because this object is a child of this object um, this subscribers request is for very very beginners more advanced uh, users probably the already knows already know things like that but uh, just beginners yeah it could be helpful and in order to remove a parent in the clear parenting just press alt p and uh, clear and keep transformation now we turned off the parenting and also parenting kind of visible in outliner for example if i click and do the this thing again trying to parent handle to a door mm. I'm sorry I made a mistake something's wrong no oh no it still stays there yeah it's it's visible here, but it's stay uh, an outliner next to the cube 46. This is a little bit weird because I used to parenting in Unity uh, game engine, and it's uh, over there. It's very simple. You just move it like this, and it's it's child of this object, of the object you moved into in, in outline. 
here it's uh, a little bit different and uh, well this is this was the way come on No, here it, it's not. Did it work? No, it didn't work. Okay, it's not working the way it, it does work in Unity. Well, uh, this was the basic way to parent it, uh, objects and animate object without an empty. And. Uh, now I'm going to show you how I prefer to work with an uh, empty uh, Just click Shift A Yeah, Shift A and select empty And choose standard and we created empty in this position It appears where the 3D cursor is at the current point and um, um, now we can just animate the is empty the same way we animated the, the door okay empty is animated and now we can select these two objects and last one we select empty and uh, press on the keyboard Ctrl P. Set parent object region, and now it's uh, working with the uh, empty as a hinge. As a hinge. Okay, it's the most simple way. And I choose. I open this car project just very quickly to show how it could work. Uh, uh, some, somewhere here. First I have to make a cut to indicate the trunk because this one doesn't have a trunk. Okay and we see very first problem is the same as uh, with the cube because uh, now this trunk little trunk it's a uh, was same object as a body of the, of the car and we need to, to separate it to make this trunk top uh, as a separate separate mesh just uh, by clicking tab uh, uh, turn on uh, editing by polygons select polygons uh, I press ctrl P to select all of them one by one it's in all tools you can select here and also by clicking uh, pressing ctrl and P uh, ctrl and plus I'm sorry on a keyboard you can select all polygons and the separated mesh but we need it only top of the trunk and uh, after we selected it press P on the keyboard and separate select it now we have two objects body and top of the trunk is a different uh, are different objects and by the way you can see the origin region of the file is over here that's why I also likes to um, use empties because uh, I don't like to move origins of the uh, origins of the meshes all the time because you know when we try to rotate it this way it's it's, uh, it's rotating the way that hinges kind of like on the floor it's not correct so let's create another empty and uh, 
move it to approximate position of the where is it? hinge hinge supposed to be it's I think it's somewhere here and uh, we can animate it too it's, it's going to rotate on the X axles so insert single key from here move down the timeline rotate insert single key from here and we have a rotating uh, empty and now we just can pair on top of the trunk to this uh, empty and we have opening trunk and you can see I choose the hinge position not correctly so I can easily um, instead deleting and reanimating whole trunk get too lengthy it could, it's, uh, there are way too many uh, steps I can just unparent temporarily this uh, um, trunk top of the trunk alt p clear and keep transformation and move hinge a little bit uh, different position probably a little bit deeper and maybe higher okay and now we can if we uh, parent this top of the trunk now yeah now it's working it's still too close to the glass but now at least it uh, doesn't look glitchy and it doesn't look wrong so this is uh, the that's why I, I I prefer to use empties as a uh, as an instrument to open the, uh, to make all kind of openings doors trunks and other stuff mechanical stuff uh, could be really tricky well now it's it does look like a real trunk opening and you can also parent not only top of the trunk but if you want you can parent whole rear bumper it's, yeah now it's opening like this well this is it for today i hope it was useful and uh, if you like it like it if you don't like it you can always leave a mean comment in the comment section below till next time bye bye